Hello and welcome to another Aki's video and to a new 2 million credit time trial challenge on Gran Turismo 7. This time we are at Suzuka and we are in the McLaren Ultimate VTT on racing soft tires. And to be honest, this is one of the most annoying time trials we've had in a long, long time. I usually do a first impressions video doing an hour to see how far I can get, but this time I needed so much time to even get a goal time. So join me on my long journey to get a time in on this one. And if you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. It is highly appreciated. And now join me for a bit of pain and suffering. So this is Thursday morning. We've been waiting for the servers to get back online after a patch update, picking up the price for the previous time trial and jumping into this one. A few people have been setting times. We are loading a ghost. And now let's try to set a time. Easier said than done. So long story short, after a while, I just realized that I couldn't drive this car, so I gave up. I went back later the same day, actually on my American account, set a time that's already silver, and now we are in the evening on my other EMEA account, and we are about to witness the exact same thing. But eventually, I managed to get a lap in and we are going to have a look at some brake references. For the first corner I'm looking for the 100 board, also a bit for that orange part of the barrier. You're coming in so fast you basically just need to brake early enough, a lot faster than you are used to. And uh, now we are making our way through the S's. I'm very much using the gears to get the car rotated and uh, I've not figured this, this out yet, of course, so I'm doing things wrong. Here I'm just trying to get up to fourth gear, get a good run out of the S's. And as we're coming up towards the deckness, I am looking for the 100 board as well as that lamp post in the background there. And we are cruising through here and uh, around Degna 2. I think there's a mark of that one as well, but I forgot. Here I am sort of looking for where the curb is the furthest to the left. You can also look at that lamp post for a reference bringing the car down to first gear and you are better off exiting in third gear. I haven't figured that out yet. Looking for the 100 ball for spoon curve, all the way down to third gear, back up to fourth, down to second gear and uh, it's best to exit in fourth gear, otherwise you can easily slide like I did just there. Now we're coming up towards 130R, the trickiest corner almost. You cannot coast through this corner, you need to lift before. You can look for the 100 board, you're coming in so fast, but you need to be back on the power as you go through the corner. Cannot just coast. 150 board for the chicane and uh, bringing the car down to first gear. And I am really short shifting coming out of there, just trying to keep the car in check. This is only going to be a silver time, but at least we completed a lap. I was even on for an improvement, but of course I went off the track at 130R. So we have got a lot of work to do. We carry on and uh, unfortunately on this lap I only got the tiniest improvement and of course we are crashing again so we have to try a bit more. I think this time it's going to be a bit better and we will finally get into the 139s at least trying to make my way around turn one up to fourth gear for the exit. Not the best exit, you can see the ghost is running away, making my way through the S's. And almost every time you have to turn for the S's, you're coming over a crest. Really a funky layout this, so you really have to anticipate every rotation of the car. Here I'm just trying to get a good clean run out of there in fourth gear. It can be done better, but not the worst I've done either now for the deckness. Uh, and I'm trying to stay in fifth gear now. You can do it in fourth gear. I think the fastest time at the moment is doing it in fourth gear, the pull between Degna 1 and Degna 2. Coming into the hairpin, just get the car slowed down. I am exiting in third gear this time, uh, but you really need to be on it right at the right time. Now for spoon curve, slightly missing an apex, but can I find the second one? Yeah, we actually found that late apex. You want to get the car in towards the 
last part of the curb on the inside. I got away with lifting really late, coming through 130R, getting the car stopped, almost running wide into the chicane, and you can see that's going to cost me on the exit towards the finish line, but we are down to a 139.629, so we are parking the car. So we are only just hanging on to go. We really need to improve just to make sure that we don't get robbed and drop down to silver. Coming into turn one, getting the car slowed down, all the way down to first gear. I don't think that's necessary. That was just a bit of panic. I'm exiting in third gear. Fourth gear is better for the exit. That, that gives more stability. And you can see I was a bit delayed on the rotation into the first S's and that just gives me narrow lines into the following S's. I'm just trying to salvage a good run out of here. Uh, still not the best I've done, but we are hanging on now looking for the 100 board coming into Degna 1, down to second gear, but back up to third, out of Degna 2. And uh, as we are entering the CK, breaking roughly at that lamppost on the right-hand side, and uh, that was not a good exit. I was on the power too soon, and you can see I was struggling with the understeer. I am going to slightly miss the apex, the first apex at Spoon Curb, but I managed to bring the car in towards the end of the curb for the second apex and get a decent run out of there. Lifting so I can get back on the power, keep the car stable through 130R, breaking at the 150 board, getting the car slowed down this time, and uh, just trying to survive the chicane. It's a bit fiddly, short shifting massively once again, and we are going across the line in a 139.555. So we are parking the car. I am barely hanging on to gold, but it is getting late, so we are waiting until the next day. I'm jumping back on. I am on my other EMEA account and uh, I'm just about to match the time on that account. We're down to a 139.525, parking the car again. Nobody has beat P1 yet, but it's still a bit too tight uh, to be safe my goal time. Finally, I am going to improve a bit again on this lap, carefully slowing the car down and trying to point it in towards uh, the final part of the corner, exiting in fourth gear. Trying to rotate the car using second gear, but mostly using fourth gear when I want to accelerate. Not using third gear that much, down to second gear, up to fourth gear. I think I, yeah, I use a bit of third just to rotate the car and try to get a run out of the S's. How do we manage the Degna curves this time? We're doing all right. I'm staying in fourth gear this time, back up to third out of Degna 2. And uh, I think I'm actually lifting a bit coming into the hairpin so you can keep the car in check. We managed to get it slowed down, not the best run out of there. How about spoon curve? We found the first apex, hooray! And I think we are actually finding the second apex, but also get a slight wiggle on, on the exit and uh, we survived 130R, get the car slowed down through the chicane. Not the best, but not the worst either. Now just trying to get across the line. You can see I was losing some speed there, but we're down to a 139.342. And of course we are going to crash. I couldn't keep it together, but let's keep moving. And this lap, was the lap that triggered a long grind after this. At this point, I had done 160 kilometers just above that. And uh, remember that number. We do a decent job of turn one, and we also make our way around the hairpin. I think, yeah, once again, I am a bit early on the throttle. I didn't get the car rotated properly, a bit too impatient. I'm doing a decent job at spoon curve for once, at least for my standards and uh, we get an okay run out of there, a bit tight on the exit, but I break way too late for the chicane, so I'm losing a lot of time here, and you can see I'm struggling with the car, but still I improved, and that triggered me because I knew I could do much better. And uh, remember those 160 kilometers? Yeah, right, nearly at 500 kilometers now, and uh, this is the final run of the video coming into turn one.
carefully slowing down the car all the way down to second gear, trying to be patient up to fourth gear for the exit. And now let's just find our way through the S's. I am doing a lot of small mistakes still, but I'm just trying to keep it as smooth as possible using second gear for rotation of the car. I'm staying in third gear because it's easier for me to flick the car towards the left and get a good run out of here in fourth gear. Now coming up towards the deckness, down to fourth gear, back on the power, all the way down to second gear, a bit of first gear, back up to third gear. And now for the chicane, and I think I am doing a small mistake here. Once again, I don't really get the car rotated like I want to. You can see the ghost is running away. So there's still a lot of time to find for me, but I'm not sure I'm up for it anymore. I was really suffering from controller arthritis at this point. My hands were hurting. We find the first apex and spoon. I think we are, yeah, we are just ignoring the second apex. So that's another mistake for me. Now we are coming up towards 130R. Make sure to lift before the corner so you can be back on the power, keep the car stable and braking at the 150 board, getting the car slowed down all the way down to first gear, up to second, quickly up to third and up to fourth gear, just to get as much, much traction as possible. Almost running a bit wide there, but we're going across the line in a 139.035. And that is enough for me. There should be a 138 something in there for me, but I'm not sure I'm up for it. For now, I'll just monitor my time on my account just to make sure they stay gold, but I'm not really up for doing a lot more grinding on this. I've done plenty already, but at least I hope you enjoyed the video, found it entertaining and maybe even somewhat useful. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.